say in America, Captain Hart? We have a job to do. This time it is even more important than your previous splendid work with the free French. Thank you, sir. And I feel that Carby is most vital to the Allies. I understand, sir. You and Sergeant Jenkins will leave immediately for a preliminary survey. And this isn't going to be easy, because you'll have to deal with Chief Salangi. Chief Salangi, sir? Who's he? One of the tribal leaders. A scoundrel, a Nazi quisling. He's been traveling all over the colony, trying to prepare a fifth column uprising for Hitler. I need not remind you, this is worse than all the dangers of the jungle. Yes, sir. It will also be your duty to act, uh, shall we say, as an ambassador at large, and to try to prevent the chief's influence from spreading. Do all you can to promote goodwill and our friendship toward them. Remember, time is an important factor. I'll do my best, sir. Which will be good enough, I'm sure. I shall start the detachment for Carby in two weeks. We'll be ready for them, sir. The native carriers and supplies are now waiting for you at Dalhousie. Be careful of your surveying instruments. They are scarce. Any questions? No questions, sir. And good luck, Captain Hart. Thank you, sir. And you too, Sergeant. Remember, keep an eye on Chief Salangi and the natives. Yes, sir. Not Broadway in 40 seconds, dude. What were you dreaming about? It's with two of the most beautiful dolls you ever seen. All sometime, like in Coney Island, and we're in Saran. Listen, Junior. The glamour girls in Africa are just a trifle more than something. Yeah? Yeah. And they don't wear Saran. Oh, Saran. Hey, what are you getting me in for? Can't we get these red chaps to carry this stuff? had the right idea. And that girl, Kalea. Yeah, we'll have to do something about her. About her? Kalea, all you say is true. 
But those devils wouldn't have a chance with Chief Salangi and his savages. And you, they're just waiting for a chance to boil you alive because of your influence over these people. I kill him. No, Kulea. Things are bad enough without getting these natives at each other's throats. Why, Chief Salangi started eight column here. Oh, fifth column. Well, fifth column or eighth column. You're not helping any by starting a war now. <laughs> I ye go so longy. Much go, watcha. Much go, watcha. Leia. Who, Leia, child? Won't you try to understand? I understand. Dr. Harrigan, very smart man. But I still want you to kill Chief Salangi. No. I think you'd better come with me. Anna. Anna. What is it? What's the tavern? I have some business to attend to. Business. I'm tired of your business, tired of the jungles. I want to get out of here. Hold your tongue. The place is driving me crazy. Oh, George, please, let's go away. Please. Shut up. As I was saying, my dear, killing is one of the law instincts. We must always learn to keep it under control. What about drinking whiskey, Doctor? It'd kill you very soon that way. Yes, I, I admit drinking is very unfortunate. No one knows that better than I. Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. Kulea, she is very dumb to go. No, child. You're very smart. Claire, wouldn't you like to get away from Caraby? Oh, no. I like Caraby. Claire likes to swim, shoot jungle cats, wild birds. I belong here. No, you don't belong. Will Claire not belong here? Well, I, I didn't mean that. I remember your mother and father were missionaries. They didn't run around dressed like that or hunt lions or shoot wild birds. Maybe if they did, they would kill Shilangi before he killed them. What do you mean by that? Leah, you didn't answer my question. I read it in the book. Yes, I... I found this book after your mother and father died. Longy killed them. Listen, I read. January 10, 1920. The unrest among the natives continues. Troops are expected every day. I pray to God they will arrive in time to save my wife and baby. From Sheep Slang. Now I get Brito and I go. Leah. I want you to promise me one thing. You'll forget all about Chief Salon. Mm. I promise. John, I'm not very well up on Bible technique, but I've done the best I could with her. Been quite a strain spiritually. Spiritually. I feel the need of a little drink. Gary, what do you want? Let's rest a while. Before the war, I wouldn't have done this for all the salons in Africa. Listen, sweetheart, didn't I? Okay, okay, so there ain't any salons in Africa. Well, why not? I ask you, why not? 
Ain't we doing our duty? One little sarong would give me something to sweat for. <laughs> okay, cheer up, cheer up, sweetheart. You'll soon be up to your ears in work, and you won't have time to think about women. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Listen, come on, let's go. Jerry Hammer! So you can rest and just stop me now. All I want to do is just sit down for a while. Wait. this map. Caribbean must be less than five miles away. Shall we get out and walk? It's such a lovely day. What's the matter with you? Look, a fugitive from Barnum and Bailey. Don't be afraid. Remember the old adage, never bother a lion, he won't bother you. Who's bothering him? Did I say anything? Did I so much? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Enjoy, how about? Come on, Arroyo! Come on, Arroyo! On the roof, on the roof, on the roof. That's all this about. Maybe they want more money. What's the trouble, Ponga? Look! Third sign. Hey. That could be Shickle Gruber with his hair down. Now don't worry, Ponga. I'm not going to let anything happen to you and your boys. Tell them to pick up their packs and go ahead. No go. Third sign. No go. Now, listen. Here, let me talk to him. Now, listen, Ting Pong. White man, your friend. He gets scalped from Japs and Nazis. He give Tongo present. No go. Maybe boys get killed. Killed. How do you like that? Listen, we've got to get this stuff to Caribbean, or the Allies won't get that airfield. Maybe we ought to call a cab. Listen, Ponga. Do you know what this gun can do? Yes. Shoot. Kill. Hey, you better tell that gang of those to pick up those packs like good little boys. White man kill all over. White man make war. This, bad sign. Chief Salangan, bring white man's war. Now we're getting somewhere. Did you say Chief Salangi? Yes, he yeah. Mama head say he yeah. Make trouble. Ah, so that's it. That's the trouble the Major warned us about. Yeah. Well, if he's here, why don't he come out and fight like a man? <laughs> hey, there they go. Hold it. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Let's get back to the boys. Looks like they ditched us. Yeah, that makes us a couple of babes in the woods. And brother, I mean woods. What do we do now? Uh, I guess we gotta leave the packs here. And when we get more natives at Caribbean, we can come back and pick them up. Let's go.
I have just contacted Berlin. Our African High Command expects to launch an attack within three weeks. The way must be open for a pincer movement of Belhazi. That will give the Germans complete control of this area as far as the sea if we complete our movements in Caribbean before the Free French Detachment arrives. So it is very important for you that you will organize your natives as quickly as possible. This is already being done. Fine. Oh, yes, I understand you are running into some difficulty with the natives of Caribbean Village. It is not easy. Player? Yes, she has tremendous influence among the natives. A mere slip of a girl must not obstruct the destiny of the new order. If she is killed, the natives would seek revenge. A war among the natives would not help the movement of the German troops. Quite true, but Kulia must be dealt with. Oh, yes, another thing. What has been done about the two American engineers who are coming to Caribbean to survey for an airfield for the Free French? They will not reach Caribbean. Good. Our leader will not forget this, sir. You shall be rewarded. My eternal thanks. Holding a convention of zombies. Uh oh. Our Western Union boys are delivering a singing telegram. Do you see what I see? Yeah. Quick, follow me. Wait a minute. Might be a trick. Yeah, a cute trick. Quick. Wonder what a game is. Whatever it is, I'll play on her team. Come with me. Are you friends? Maybe at a time like this, you'd better be. What do you think? Better take a chance. Here.
follow me. Hey, now, wait a minute. Who are you? I, Clea, I help you. Hurry! Hurry! Quick! She looks like the real McCoy. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. With these packs, are you kidding? You gotta take a chance and hide it. a pretty girl like you doing in the jungle. Why, pretty man in jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you, lady. Yeah, you saved my life, baby. Yeah, why don't you tell us you couldn't swim, stupid? At a time like this, do I know what I'm doing? Where you go? Uh, lady, we're going to Caribbean. Can you, uh... Caribbean? Yeah. Yes, I'd take you. I live Caribbean. Come. Oh. No sarongs from Africa, huh? Hey, come here, come here, come here. Leah, the arrow belongs to her. It was meant for me. It gave it necessary to eliminate her like a missionary parent years ago. Remember the influence she has among the natives. That is you, boy. Now, what about the engineers? I will see. The kind of Alka Gavalga? Answer me. And don't harrow Kathir al Marekani. Letting them get away is a fine mess. Instead of speeding up our plans, we are falling back. Let me remind you once more of the destiny of the Third Reich. I do not need reminding here, Lucas. I know these natives better than you. The law of the jungle always has been and always will be a thing apart from the white man's law. New order or no, it must be dealt with accordingly. In my own way. Uh, we shouldn't lose our temper this way. You're quite right. I must get back to Canopy. Perhaps the Americans are there by now. There's Canopy. Gosh, I'm sure glad to see that place. I want to thank you, miss. Hey, baby, what's your phone number? Phone? What's your phone? Well, just put a nickel on the phone. Wait a minute. Leah, I want to ask you something. What you ask? Did you kill that native back there? Chief Solange brings death in the jungle, make everybody sad. Solange? You don't mean that big guy with all those feathers, those beads, all that stuff around his neck. That was... Chief Solange. Can you imagine that, Sarge? And we were only a few feet away from him. Yeah, you think he'd be mad because we didn't drop in for tea? I bet he had something to do with killing one of our boys. Next time I kill him. Well, then it was you. You did kill that native. I don't know. You keep eyes sharp like jungle cats. Much danger. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where do you live? What, what a dish. Gosh. Can you imagine that, Sarge? A white girl in the African jungle. Probably raised by the natives. I wonder who she is. Where she came from, what she's doing here. Why worry about details? Now, whoever she is, I bet, I bet we run into her again. She can tip us off to a lot of things. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, maybe she's got a girlfriend. Or you. Let's get to Caribbean.
Needs an FHA loan. Quiet, Sergeant. You're in the Army now. <laughs> hey, I'm beginning to like Africa. So welcome, gentlemen. American? Oh, yes, miss. I'm Captain Gary Hart of the Free French. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? Sergeant Jenkins. Glad to meet you. I'm Anna Lucas. My husband and I own the tavern. You look as if you've gone through ten wars, Captain. <laughs> Lady, what happened to us should happen to Hitler. What this sergeant means, miss, is that we can use a little food and sleep. Well, then you've come to the right place. I uh, hope you find everything you need right here. So we got no one to blame but ourselves. Won't you come in? Thank you. She's sort of a home type, ain't she? Now listen, Junior. I want you to keep your mind in surveying and keep your trap shut about what happened today. About Kulea and everything. No telling what we'll run into. Yeah, you think I'm not dumb? Oh, you tell me, Anna. Welcome, my friends, to Caribbean. This is my husband. George, Captain Hart. How do you, How do you do? do? And so Mike Jenkins is named Did you meet the gentleman? There's very much comfort here, I'm afraid, but our hospitality is unequal. Your wife has made us feel quite at home already. Has uh, she? Well, my wife and myself will be both of you, sir. These gentlemen are going to build an airfield at Kirby. Is that so? Not quite. You see, we're just uh, surveyors with the Free French Engineering Corps. Just surveyors? Why, General de Gaulle and us are just like that. <laughs> well, in that case, your presence is an honor, Sergeant. We'd like to clean up a bit for dinner, if you don't mind. Of course, I'll, I'll show you to your room. You gentlemen must have run into some trouble. Did your carriers walk out on you? Yes. How did you know? Well, it is nothing unusual. Murder and native uprisings are increasing since the war. When did it all end? Oh, war, war. You must promise me not to talk about it at least until after dinner. It's a promise. This way, gentlemen. Swine. Uh, this is your room. Dinner will be ready as soon as you are. Thank you. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you to make your stay more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask. You're very kind. Hey, there's something about that gal puzzles me. She probably feels the same way about you, Sergeant. Why, there's nothing complicated about me. <laughs> You're telling me. More wine? No, thank you. I want to offer a toast to the war. We're bringing to Caribbean folks. Charming, yes. Well put, my dear. I'll drink to that. Play the gramophone, Anna. Perhaps you and Captain Hart would like to dance. Well, Anna, she scarcely gets a chance to dance. Perhaps Captain Hart doesn't want to dance. As a matter of fact, I like to very much. Sure, go ahead and dance with the Captain, Mr. Focus. He's so light on your feet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, how do we go about getting new carriers? You see, he left our pack back on the trail. That's hard to answer. Between their superstitions and feuds with other tribes, the natives are very hard to handle. However, I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you. I'm afraid I don't dance too well, Mr. Lucas. Very well, Captain. Thank you. You know, Mr. Lucas, I did that for 152 hours one time. Then what happened? I don't know. I woke up in a hospital and nurse hold my hand. I said, what am I doing in surgery? <laughs> And don't sting her. What makes you say that? It's dangerous. There's no telling what we have. Thanks very much for your advice, lady, but I'm in the army now. Captain, you're a delightfully stubborn man. <laughs> Yeah. 
Diana. Your flirtation with the Americans was a wonderful smoke screen. For a while I thought it was real. Fancy me. <laughs> the jealous husband. Good night, Captain Hart and Sergeant Jenkins will hold a flirtation with death. Engineering Corps, sir, and this is Sergeant Jenkins. Hi, Doc. How do you do? I, uh, I see you've already met Kaleo. Oh, yes, sir. As a matter of fact, why, we didn't expect to find anything just like her in the jungle. No, she's, uh, very unique. <laughs> I suppose you gentlemen, uh, witnessed the drenching that I got? Yes, Doctor, I'm afraid we did. Oh, these eternal bowels. I should think one bucket would have been enough. Captain, you're looking at Caribbean's guardian angel. Not only Caribbean's, Doctor. Ours as well. Sure, Doc. If it wasn't for her, we'd be cannibal pot roast right now. What? Kalea, how did that happen? Oh, uh, uh, nothing, Doctor. Big leopard attack. Leopard? Yes, I killed. Oh. oh, I think I could stand a little drink. Would you gentlemen... Yeah, I'm in. And you, Captain? I'll join you later, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. Very good, sir. Leia. What's the matter? Nothing. Mind if I walk with you? Stand up here. You like women in tavern? Like women? Oh, you mean Mrs. Lucas? Yeah, she's all right, I suppose. Hold her close and dance. You like that, huh? Why, yeah. What do you mean? Why you walk with me? Go away. Claire hates you. What's got into you? What's got into you? Now, listen, what's this all about? Sorry. Something inside makes me hate the other woman when you hold her close. Leia, she much ashamed. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, you're a funny kid. What is funny kid? Well, it means that you're something to write home about. Something that you wanted to meet and yet never really expected to. You nice white man. You act as if you've never seen a white man before. Not nice white man. Look, it's like old hyena. Doctor, like gentle lamb. But you, you like... I understand. 
just something that catches up with two people. This man before? What you think? Hey, Carl. I funny kid. Yes, Captain, say so. I'm not wild. I want to kill the sheep because he is dead. Oh, I'm very sad tonight. Happy, too. I'm a funny kid. Just as soon as I get some clothes on. Captain Hart, don't I? Just listen to me. You must be terribly at once. Your life is in danger. My lady, right now, millions of lives are in danger. Oh, don't be a fool. That I'm talking about immediate danger. 
But now perhaps it burns. Say, hey, why are you so concerned about me? I told you not to ask questions. But I am asking. And I expect an answer. I told you once before, Mrs. Lucas, I'm in the army now. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. Besides, it so happens I don't want to be the middleman in any marital mission. Well, You're a hard-headed fool. Are you sure, Kalea? I'm very sure. Ridiculous. I can't be bashed by the chief who's going to kill Captain Hart. Well, I've got reason to believe he tried it once before. That he not only frightened off our carriers, but killed one of them besides. I'm inclined to agree with you, Captain. That would be difficult to prove. How blind all of you are. This is all Kalea's doing. He obviously attacked this innocent native, hoping that her Tanji tribe would war against Chief Thongi's people. This is not true. I love Tanji people. What do you know about me? You're just a bloodthirsty little savage. Oh, here, child, child. it, hold it, hold it. A dirty little beast. I beast. I see you with Captain Hart. You like wild animal when in his own. I think I can explain all that, Mr. Lucas. You see, Mrs. Lucas came to warn me about... There is no need to explain further, Captain. One and a half. Very late. Good night, gentlemen. Are you wrong? No, Clay. It's all right. You know, <clears throat> there's nothing like a practical lesson in human behavior. Yes, uh, Don't apologize, son. Kalea's good enough for any man. I knew her mother and father well. Well, what are you thinking about? Uh, what a mess she's got, Captain. Good night. You have no regard for me, at least remember one thing. They're here for a certain purpose. The third right is more important than your swine Islam affair. You're a servant of the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer! That's all I ever hear. I hate it. I hate you everything here. Another ten days of this, and I'll have a physique like Buster Crab. After that experience last night, we might easily run into a trap today with those new boys. Yeah, sure. What about that gal? What gal? What gal? You know what gal. Lucas's wife. Did she really come up here last night to warn you? Yep. Anything else? Anything else, Junior, is a military secret. Okay, Captain Casanova. What about Kalea? What about it? I'm asking you. I suppose you tell me. Oh, fine. Trying to get something out of you is like drilling the Army intelligence. Haven't got time for struggling this thing. And catch and be here in a few days. I want to be ready for him. Frivolous? Hey, which one's frivolous? Kalea, that Lucas girl. That's enough, Junior. 
boys are waiting for us. Hurry up. Oh, I'm only trying to get some information. I'm not fucking up with you. That's the way. going to run into some trouble. Oh, Doctor. They went out into the jungle early this morning. The Phyllis natives? No, I never saw them before. That's what worries me. After what happened last night, I... Say, why should Lucas get strange carriers for the captain? After all, there are plenty of natives in the village to do the job. Doctor, no time now to think of Lucas. I go to Captain Hart. No, no, not alone you won't. This time I bring my friends from the village. You go, Doctor. Hurry, tell natives to get ready. Yes. I dress. Like someone beat it to the pack. Yeah, stuff's gone. What do we do now? Sickle grouper again. Yeah, it's the language calling card. Yeah, there was only one thing to do to convince those fellas. Hey, those babies like to play rough, don't they? Yeah, they tried to lead us into an ambush. Isn't over yet. Frankenstein's still doing business at the old stand. Yeah. Got our equipment, too. Can we rush him? No, no, there's too many. Quiet! I kill him. You'll get what's coming. I got an idea. We dump some bullets in their fire. That sure scatter them. It sure looks silly walking up to him and saying, pardon me while I dump some bullets in your fire. Wait a minute. Clear. Have that out. What What's you do? Do? Mike, give me some bullets, quick. Uh, I get it. So just stick around and we'll give you an idea of a Yankee Fourth of July. There. Can you hit that fire? Sure, I hit it. Good. Get down right in the center of it. Hurry.
to our boys. This place will be done in no time at all. Yeah. When we get this jumping off place for bombers finished, we got to call it Kalea Field. No, there wouldn't be any field or even us if it wasn't for Kalea. Junior, you've got something, yeah? Yeah, that's swell. I'll take it up with the Major. Hey, uh, you ain't been seen much of it lately. How come? Mike, has it ever occurred to you that the combination of a girl like Kulea, tropics, particularly the tropical nights, don't mix with work? Well, you can always give up work. Look, Mike, we got a job to do. We got to do it quick. You know, this thing of Chief Salangi trying to throw a monkey wrench into the work isn't just his idea. What do you mean? Oh, the Germans can use an air base down here. And I'd certainly hate to put in all this work only to have the Heinies take over. Yeah, so would I. Hey, skip what I said. I'm with you 100%. Well, it'd be great to see a flock of American bombers taken off from this place, won't it? Yeah, it certainly will. Only... Let's skip it. Now, wait a minute, Mike. What are you going to say? Yeah, it's just a thought. And when all those flyers get down here, what? Oh, you won't be so long. What you seeing there? It's pretty as me. Hello, Claire. I didn't know that you were around. Oh, Claire, find that out. You're not even no Claire living. I'm not see you or talk to you for many days. Sorry about that, but, well, I've been pretty busy. I know. Work, work. Always work. Dr. Cardigan say you finish soon, then you go away. You speak to Yes, I guess so. Fella never knows what'll happen with a war going on. You miss me? May I miss you like she missed dying and stars? Only much more. Just kiss Kulea and say you'll never go away. Hey! Hey, I thought you were strictly a straight line guy. How come you're going in for kites? I'll pay the lights busy. I'll call later. They love you. They used to love her and you never leave. Uh, not if I can help her, darling. This war's not going to last forever. You made today a very happy. Ask him what happened. <laughs> Another one. Two in less than five minutes. It must be something serious. Let's get him to drop. Quick. Grab a leg, Junior. Boys, pick up this other one. That way. No, I don't think so. Plague doesn't affect a victim like that. Nor does tropical fever. These men are in a coma. Almost like death. I know what is wrong. What do you mean? You remember, Doctor. This thing happened once before when Shitsilangi come to village. By Jove, that's right. I had almost forgotten. It was over 15 years ago. Kalea was just a little girl then. You fixed them up then, Doctor. You fix them now. I'll do my best. <laughs> What are you saying? 
is convincing them that the Americans have caused the plague and that they should die. I believe your friend Captain Harden find it difficult to cope with this problem. You mean it will kill him? Naturally. After they torture him a bit. Why do you look so troubled, my dear? They go. Stop, you lie. I will tell you the truth. Lady, see my new I'll help him. I'll tell you the horse. She seems to have everything under control. Uh, Junior, she's terrific. Hey, you got a dad, ain't you? Captain, they're coming out of it. Kalea was right. The men were drugged. That's fine, Doc. Keep working on it. Asa rogo, asa hiparindo, amiko sahi. Read, Quinta. Shure a honi. They're coming in to have a look, yeah? What do you say now, you troublemaker? You see, Dr. Harriet has made our men well, and they will live. Now get out. Get out! We will quit them. We go! Blair. Who is this, King? Letting a girl make a fool of you. It could not be avoided. Next time, there will be no interference. You decided to eliminate her? Tonight, my men will take care of Kalea. It will be a relief to be rid of her. Years ago, her mother and father caused me trouble. You killed them. It was very necessary. Not nearly so necessary as it is to get Kulea out of the way. Our African High Command plans to assume charge here within ten days. The maneuver completes an important pincer movement. Don't worry. Kalea will interfere no more. With Kulea down, the elimination of the American swine will be comparatively simple. In fact, I have a plan. Anna! Hey, what is this? It is the end of your cooperation with the free French, Captain Hart. It rests quietly. Jumbo duck. Same old story. Calling on the gods for vengeance because we kill those men. Sick of it is, they're not dead at all. He'll pull them out of it with some hocus pocus, and the friendly natives will turn savage with joy. Look like our numbers are up. Fine thing for a guy from a beautiful place like Brooklyn to have to die in a briar patch like this. Tell them you will restore the dead man's back to life in exchange for their help and the lives of the prisoners. Laura, who are I? Who are we? Hey, Lucas. I'm Pagovuk and Salavogo. Now he's demanding our lives in return for the miracle he's about to perform. Why did you kill your wife? You were just about to free Captain Hart. I've begun with the ceremony. Allah, Urahai. Urahai, Miko, Allah, Urahai. Allah, Urahai. Allah, Urahai. Allah, Urahai. Amagur, 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 Amagur. Allah, Urahai. Who the 
dead man back to life. Joe Kulea, how you make him live again. Well, go ahead, bring your friend back to life. Go ahead. Well, what are you waiting for? She's calling his bluff. She gets away with it. Captain Hart calling Major Rinald. Captain Hart calling Major Rinald. Go ahead, Captain Hart. You're ready for the planes here, sir. You'd better send them along quick. The Germans are planning on taking over the airfield. Are you positive? As we uncover the fifth column plot here, make your hair curl. Excellent work, Captain. We will send fighting planes and bombers immediately. Now, that's fine, Major. Oh, say, if you've got a chaplain on the post there, you'd uh, better send him along, too. They are going to be Mrs. Captain Gary Hart, no? Yes, darling. 